Hi everyone, it's James in Japan. You're looking at Sony Bank's website. I am going to show you how to set up an account from your smartphone. Take your bank with you. Seamless payments inside and outside Japan. Multiple currencies all in one card. And English online banking on the go. This bank was just launched this year. Note, this is my first time to sign up. What is required? Valid residence card. Valid health insurance card, business card, or a document with your full name in katakana. You are over 20 years old and a resident in Japan. You have a valid address and phone number in Japan. You are individual customer, not a business. As you can see, there are some grammar errors. What is not required? Complicated paperwork, a hanko, personal seal, visiting bank branches. If you haven't stayed in Japan for at least six months, you can still open an account as long as you can provide a picture of your health insurance card and or business card. Please note that Sony Bank app and Sony Bank wallet app are available in Japanese only. Please sign in to our English online banking browser based for transactions in English. Open an account in three steps. Step one. Download our open account app. Step two, scan required documents and enter your information. Step three, receive your Sony Bank wallet cash card with Visa debit by postal mail in around 10 days. Scroll down to download Sony Bank's app either from the Apple Store or Google Play. I am going to download the app. As you can see, I have downloaded the Sony Bank app. Let's click it. Click on Open Your Account. Scan your documents. Next. Enter your information. Next. Set up your passwords. Next. Receive your card. Start registration. You should read terms of use. In the Please Confirm section, click those two boxes and confirm. Answer the following questions. How long have you been living in Japan? Less than six months or more than six months? This is required. In my case, more than six months. I'll click this, then Next. Here are the documents you'll need. If you lived in Japan for more than six months, please have these documents ready. Residence card, Zaidu card with your current address. Health insurance card, Hokin, with your current address. If you don't know what these things are, click on the question mark next to each. For the last one, name in katakana, you can use a utility bill that has your name in katakana.
click next. Get your residence card, your Zydeo card ready, and scan the front side. Make sure your photo is within the perimeter. Confirm it. Now you need to scan the back of your residence card. Notice the progress bar above. If you took your photo correctly, press confirm. Next, you're going to scan the front side of your health insurance card, your Kenko Hoken Kado. When you're satisfied, press confirm. Next, you'll need to scan the back of it. Again, when you're satisfied with your photo, press confirm. Next, get a utility bill or a rental agreement that has your katakana name on it. Then, in the please confirm section, click that box, press scan. I'm scanning my Japanese visa statement. If you're satisfied with it, confirm. Confirm your personal information before continuing. Make sure your family name and your given name are spelled correctly. Then check your date of birth, confirm your gender, and your address in Japan. If all is good, click on the box, then click Next. Next, follow the directions. Is your name correct? If all is good, click on Confirm. Do you want to enter your name in Katakana? This part is optional. Click Next if you don't want to. Do you want to enter your name in Chinese characters? This part is also optional. Click Next. Is your gender correct? Male or female? I'm 100% male. Confirm. Is your date of birth correct? Yes. Confirm. Is your address correct? If all is good, click Next. What's your phone number in Japan? You can use your Japanese cell phone number here. Click Confirm. What's your email address? Press Confirm. What's your employment status? When you have chosen, press Confirm. Please let us know account opening purpose. Confirm. Here you can have multiple answers. We're almost done. Time to set passwords. Sign on password, cash card pin, visa debit pin. For detailed information about these, click on the question mark. Please choose your sign-on password. Enter 6 to 8 single byte numbers and characters two times. Click Confirm. Please choose your cash card PIN 4 digit number two times. Confirm. Please choose your Visa debit PIN 4 digit number two times. Confirm. Last step, just one final check, double check, 
triple check everything before you submit. In the Please Confirm section, click on the box and press Submit Your Information. All done. Congratulations. Write down the receipt number. And that's how to do it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.